There was an important relegation battle at the Stade de l'Aube this weekend as bottom place to our hosted 17th place Socio. With a win over Brest and a draw away to Lille in their last two games, Troyes may have fancied their chances against the Socio side who have lost in their last two League One outings. Unsurprisingly, it was a cagey affair to begin with, with no real chances in the first 15 minutes. Fabian Camus looking to pick out Stefan Darbion here, but he was well covered by Jerome Roussillon. At the other end, Sebastian Corsia rifled this free kick just wide in the 17th minute. Socho coming forward again here in the 21st minute with a superb crossfield ball from Riyad Boudabouz. Fine control from Sebastian Rude, but Johan Turam with a comfortable save. The ball, as we see, taking a slight deflection off Trois defender Julien Fossurio. Trois hit back a few minutes later as Camus combined well with Jean Christophe Bayerbeck. The on loan PSG forward forcing a good reaction save from Simon Pouplan. Socho then had a fine chance on the half hour mark. Boudabou swung a corner out to the edge of the box and Vincent Nguera unleashed a stinging drive, superbly turned behind by Turam. A missile from Nguera here and a decisive intervention from Turam. And that was the closest either team came to scoring in the first half, goalless then at the break. Into the second period. With their coach Eric Helly looking on, Socho continued to threaten. After a Budabu's free kick was headed out, Rudo fired in a fine volley from distance. Turam ideally placed to capture it. A lovely strike, but straight at the Trois keeper. Socho were beginning to find space in behind the Trois defence. Budabu's for Nagera here, but Sloan Priva was just unable to steer his header on target. There have been at least four goals in the last six games here at the Stade de l'Aube, but neither side could break the deadlock. Benjamin Neve with a neat pass for Darbion here, but he just couldn't beat Pouplan. With around eight minutes to go, Nogueira powered forward and decided to go it alone, firing on target from just outside the area. Turam with a relatively comfortable save. And so the game wound down to its inevitable conclusion, nil-nil. A missed opportunity for Socho, the better side, who host leaders Paris Saint-Germain next week.